happy, uh, what is today? Wednesday. <laughs> today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I have just got home from work and I'm going to sit down and stitch on my Dragon Fruit Block of the Month program. So I did post a video yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday of, um, I feel the whole debacle of what I was doing. So I've decided today that I'm just going to stitch because some of the stuff I told you was relevant, like how Kimberly did did hers, um, you know, things like that. Some of it was absolutely relevant. Um, sorry, I am uh, getting ready to sew to start stitching. Putting our first fabric down, putting fabric number one down, and um, let me go ahead and put down fabric number eight, uh, make sure, no, fabric number two. So let me grab fabric number two, we need that. I didn't think about fussy cutting this, I'm just going to tell y'all that. I did not think about fussy cutting these. Okay, so I've got those two put together. It really does help to use, if you're a Bernina owner, it really, really does help if you will use foot, which foot have I got on here? 34D because you have these red markers and this red line down the center of your foot that you can line up on your lines, your stitch lines, and it you really will be able to tell a difference. So I am, let me shorten that stitch length. And I have been taking a back stitch and stitch very slow. Whoop, and I went a little bit too far over into that one, but that's okay. It's okay. And I am going to do mine where it stops needle up. I'm going to change it from needle down position to needle up. Just so I don't have to remember to do it every time. Because, I mean, I'm lazy. What can I say? It's all, I'm lazy. So, I'm just going to fold this back. And I'm going to take, hopefully I won't bump the camera. And I'm just gonna give that a little press with my steam thing. Still use it, still like it. All right, so let's grab our next piece of fabric. It goes pretty quick once you get into the rhythm. Once you get into the rhythm of it. Okay, so fabric number three. You know what? I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna lay my fabrics out in the order that they need to be sewed in. I thought about this when I was at work today. I thought that's how I need to do it. I need to lay these out in the order that you sew them. And it will make, I think, better sense to my pea brain. <laughs> oh gosh. And then that one comes next. And I'm looking at my thing, my uh, and then Jay, well, you know, I totally food barred mine, so I am having to. But I think if I do lay them out in the order that they're supposed to be sewed, it will help me tremendously. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. Now I need six. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. I don't have to scooch them a little closer. Scooch them. Let's scooch them. I can put those two actually together and then scooch these closer together. And then this should help my little pea brain. That's nine, I need 10. 11. 
and then 12, and then 13. And then hopefully, yes, hopefully this will help. Okay, so I have them now laid in order as to how they need to be sewed, I think. Okay, so let me grab number three. So number three is going to go right up here. And I like to see through it, and I can see through it when I hold up to the light, because I want to make sure, let me flip it over. Let me flip it this way so you can see. I want to make sure that my number three fabric, can y'all see that? I wanna make sure that my number three fabric hits this line and hits this line because it goes right through here. I want to make sure that it overlaps those two lines and I can see I can see through and you need at least a quarter of an inch above and it helps if you can place it. Okay. So there's number three. Number three is on there. Whoop, I was trying to sew it the wrong way. Turn it over, paper side up, foot down. Okay, hold your tails. Okay, like I said, you probably don't need to back stitch this, but um, when I get to one of the bigger areas where it's a little easier to hold, I will uh, pick you guys up and bring you over here so you can hopefully see how I'm doing this. I just don't really have a good filming setup at all. Okay, and then fold your paper back. We're gonna trim a quarter of an inch. <clears throat> Which, I don't have to cut off much. Just trim off just a little. There we go, and I'm just gonna lay that stuff up there. Roll it back and give it a little going over with my seam roller. That works so we're not having to press in between each one. Okay, number four is this one. Let me grab number four. And it goes along this edge right here. too much on there. See, I can't see it. Looks like I got four a little short. That's what it looks like to me. Okay. Let's slide it up. I'm being awful, I know I'm being awful picky with it. I'm probably being way more picky than you need to be because it is pretty forgiving. I was thinking about picking y'all up, but I don't want to make you drunk. And this is such a little bitty piece.
pieces are just so tiny. So tiny pieces. Oh yeah, this works so much better. Line it up and then five goes down here. Just That works so much better if you just put your pieces in the order that they need to go. Oh yeah, we're good. And five. It seems like I'm wasting a lot of thread, but this is the best way that I have found to do it. There we go. Now, six is the light. Okay, so we are rocking and rolling. Yes, we are. We are doing some rocking and some rolling. So I'm looking for us a new sew along to do together. Um, I'm actually looking at some of the patterns um, on Fat Quarter Shop for us to do a sew along together. so many layer cakes. I love layer cakes. They're like my fat quarters and layer cakes are my favorite pre-cuts. My faves. And I have a plethora of them. Okay, seven. Just making sure I was picking up the right one. I don't have to have that up quite that high. Oh, I wasn't trimming. Y'all didn't tell me I wasn't trimming. Why did you not tell me? Why? Why did you not tell me, Sally, that I wasn't doing my trimming? I got so carried away with this that I was like, oh, I'm rocking and rolling. See, I can't record a video without at least making one mistake. One. Are we going to call that a mistake? I mean, it's not the end of the world because I didn't trim. But that, that just creates extra bulk that you don't need. So. so, make sure that you trim your quarter of an inch in between rows. Because now we have extra bulk that wasn't totally necessary in there. made on this table. There we go. And now fold it back. There we go. Seven and then eight is this color. And then eight goes here. I'm definitely cutting the next one as Kimberly suggested as quite a bit bigger. Scoot it over just a little bit more. Oh, I probably slid it, slid it a little too far, did I? There we go. 
there we go. Okay. I do want to do a Lori Holt sew uh, so along. What do you guys think about that? What do y'all think about doing a Lori Holt sew along? I'd like to know what you think about that. I have most of her, but I don't have all of her books. I have most of her books. I love her fabric. Love, I love her patterns. Um, I am a Lori Holt fan. I am, I am, I am. Let me kind of slide all of this stuff out of the way right here where I'm cutting. Hopefully I'm not jiggling y'all because it's like I have this great big table and I'm working in like a foot of space because I've got it all. So what do y'all think about doing a Lori? Oh, and look, there's glue right there. I don't know if y'all can see in there. So nine goes right here and it is a dark so it's this one make sure yep it is I don't want it crooked let's try and get it as straight as we can get it, it looks pretty good um, so what do y'all think about doing Lori Holt? I have uh, a few of her um, So Simple Shapes. I really, really like her method of applique. And I've never, I mean, I've done some applique in the past, but I love hand embroidery. And I'm thinking that we could take her So Simple Shapes and hand embroidery and just really up the game and make some stunning quilts um and i want to make a few of the quilts out of her scrappiness is happiness book so what do y'all what what do y'all think what, i know that most of y'all voted for you know free sew alongs it would it would be free you would just need her book and i think a lot of us probably already have her book and maybe we just if y'all were like me, you're a collector. I think that there's a fine line between 10, now we need 10, between um, quilting and collecting quilting stuff. I think we sometimes become connoisseurs and we collect our books and we collect our fabric and we don't necessarily use them. They sit on a shelf and they look very pretty sitting up on that shelf. <laughs> oh gosh. I think I'm doing overkill by doing a back stitch. I really think I am. Just makes me feel better, I guess. Makes me feel better. Okay, there we go. So, um, and I need to cut this off. I, I did the seam roller and didn't trim it off. So let me fold that back and then do a little trimmy poo. Margaret, we got that going. Y'all may be a little too close. I don't know. I don't know. You may not be saying nothing that I'm doing. And then 11 is this one. So let's line up 11. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get. scooch it just a little bit that way yeah okay I 
I had actually started her V Vintage Quilt, um, the applique one. I actually have it started, and that is going to be a sew with me because I need to finish that puppy or a watch me sew or whatever you want to call it. would like to finish that quilt and really add some hand embroidery details to the applique. I just think that that would really, really set it off. And Lori's into all of that, you know, cross stitch and all of that stuff like that. I just can't believe she doesn't do the, um, the hand embroidery. Just, and it's not everybody's cup of tea. Ooh, I barely got that one on there. Okay, that was 11, 12, is this one. I was looking at my picture, making sure I was doing it right. That didn't shift, did he, did it? Yes, it did, because it got caught on my seam so easy guide. I can pull the seam so easy guide off because it is not on the machine properly. It's not lined up, and then that way I won't have to worry about it catching on it. guys listen to audiobooks while you're sewing. I do. I listen to I listen to a lot of audiobooks. I want one more. There we go. That just made me feel better. Um, and I am currently listening to oh gosh. Once a, Once Upon a River. I think I'll have to get the name of the book to let y'all know for sure. Look at it because if I flip off this it's gonna stop the video. It's a it's different. So let me finish listening to it. It's available on Libby, which is your public library. So you can listen to it there. I do like listening. I do I love audiobooks, y'all. I mean I'm so busy. I'm just I'm so busy. So audiobooks, I can put my earbuds in, I can sit out here and listen. Listen to my book while I'm cutting fabric. Um, instead of watching TV, I'm usually listening to a book. I do watch TV too. Where a river flow? I'm gonna have to look at the book. I am so sorry, guys. I'm talking about a book and can't even tell you the name of it. It's a, it's a, diff it's different. It is. It's 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 quite a strange book. I'm just gonna tell you that. And I have a few others. And another really good. Um, it's not near as ex well. It's about the same price as Audible. Is called Ever and E V E R A N D. Um, it is a flat fee per month for all the books you want to read, audiobooks, magazines. I'm thinking about resubscribing to it because there's a couple other books that this girl that I follow on YouTube, she, she reads and she recommends books. And I've, so far, they've been pretty good. And uh, Wayward is on my list to read now. And uh, The Familiars. And they have, The Familiars is available on, um, on uh, Libby. So you can read here in Cabot anyway. And I have it on my, I went ahead and put it and checked it out, which was dumb because I'm not even finished with, with 
where the river flows or whatever the name of it is. Okay, guys, we're done. That one is all, I want you to look how tiny those are. Stinking tiny. So we're done. All I have to do, I want to give it a really good press before I trim it because I want this nice and flat before I trim it. So, um, and I'm going to show you guys how I press these. Um, my iron's not on, but I'm going to take you over to the ironing board and show you. Let me, I'm going to make you just a little drunk, but I'm going to, hi, I'm going to take you over here and show you my uh, setup that I have going on here. Oh, get you down where you can see. Okay, so this is a pressing board or quilter's clapper, whichever one you want to call it. Let me turn on the light here so y'all can see better. Uh, quilter's clapper. My husband made this for me. If anybody would be interested for these, I do have an online shop and I could put them in the shop. There's just nothing in the shop. So I have these three pound weights that this one sat outside for like forever. I cleaned it up as best I could and that's the reason why it looks really gross. So... I use my three pound weights on top of my clapper and I put my block up under that. Sorry, y'all. And it comes out so nice and so flat. And now this one is ready to be trimmed, but I'm gonna trim them all at one time. So that's how I press mine. It's just like that. And I'm just gonna set this one over here off to the side. So that's, that's how I press mine. So I am going to turn on my audio book and uh, and let me show you this. And I have all my fabrics lined up in the order that they need to be sewed. This works amazingly well for my tiny little brain. So I'm gonna put my book on. I'm gonna sew up these next two blocks and then I need to cut out. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do like Kimberly did and make a photocopy and go ahead and cut for the next blocks and then that way, all I have to do is sit down and sew. I'm going to clean up this mess right here first. All right, guys, have a great evening, and I'll meet you back here in the sewing room. Let me know what you think about a Lori Holt, Holt sew along, and tell me what quilts that you would like to do a sew along on, which ones we would like to do together. And if you have a quilt that you've been wanting to make that's free from the Fat Quarter Shop that you would like me to do as a sew along there, let me know. Let me know. Give me some hints and ideas. Drop them in the comments below and let me know if there's a quilt that you would like us to do as a sew along together. And it has to be free. The requirements are it has to be free. Um, that's it. It just has to be a free pattern. And we'll download it. It would be great if it was a layer cake pattern, <laughs> but it doesn't have to be. So, um, yeah, because I have layer cakes, charm squares, fat quarters, Jelly rolls, yeah, I have them all covered and I have some yardage. So there we go, let me know. Let's meet you back here in the sewing room later. Bye for now. Hey, just an update. If you're doing the Dragon Fruit uh, Block of the Month program with Fat Quarter Shop, take advantage of your uh, AccuQuilt. If you have an, I don't have an AccuQuilt, I have a Sizzix, same thing. They just made this years and years ago and they don't make this anymore, however, I'm using my one and a half inch strip dies to cut one and a half inch strips. I'm sizing mine up like Kimberly did, and it really cuts down on the time and the effort on my hurt wrist. So anyway, just a, just a tip for you guys.